Hello everyone, this is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. In this video, I'm going to be playing some AI Dungeon 2. Some AI Dungeon 2. This video is going to take place in a world that I created in AI Dungeon 2 called Pause. I used the quick start feature in order to create a random prompt that I'm going to try and finish up in 10 minutes. So let's get started. I am going to start the 10 minute timer and let's hop right into the adventure. Pause is a world with magic and monsters, where religion is an ancient, all-encompassing, yet still surprisingly relevant system. Pause is a world where magic and technology, gods and monsters, all play a part. Pause's religion, culture, and history is rich and daring. You are Lisa, a female magicless cyborg. A female magicless cyborg. You are Lisa, a female, magicless cyborg cursed wanderer who lives in the Mage Tech Pacifist headquarters. You've lived there your entire life. You're a member of the Tech Mages promoting pacifism and have assisted in spreading the message of peace to the world. You spent much of your life assisting people who have been wronged or hurt by others and aiding in the healing of the world. You know nothing else other than the peaceful way of life. You have never been in a fight nor held a weapon of any kind. You are a pacifist at heart and dedicated to healing the world, not harming it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... I guess I'm going to approach the leader of the tech mages promoting pacifism and ask the leader if there is any way my curse can be lifted. So not only did the game make me a magicless cyborg, but also made me a cursed wanderer, which means that like, I have a curse that's like plagued me for like a really long time and it makes me get shunned by like a bunch of people, uh, which sucks. And that also means that I can't cast spells, but I do have cool cybernetics, which is awesome. You walk up to the leader of the tech mages. You see he's arguing with a group of adventurers. You overhear him telling them that the gods do not listen to those who do wrong by their fellow men. Let's see. Um, I'm going to approach the group of adventurers. Oh, well, I guess I will wait patiently for my turn to speak. You know, I don't want to intrude. I'm walking in and like the leader is talking to someone. So I shouldn't, you know, get in the middle of that. You stand in a long line of people waiting to speak with the leader of the tech mages. The leader steps out from his tent and looks around at everyone gathered. You realize he's looking at you. Everyone? I need to speak with Lisa, he says. Okay. Um, I'm going to approach the leader of the tech mages and bow. Okay. So my main concern is like trying to get my curse lifted. You approach the leader of the tech mages. He looks you up and down briefly before speaking. Lisa, I've heard of your situation. I'm sorry for what happened to you. Can anything be done? You ask. Let's see. The leader says. So I edited that up real quick. I'm just going to hit enter and let the situation ride. Uh, so I'm trying to see if I can get my curse lifted. Uh, so fingers crossed. Woo. I'm afraid not. Not by us, at least. Magicless cyborgs are rare, and we only keep records of the first one who showed their existence. The main cause for your eradication. Wait, the main cause for my eradication? What does that mean? So what then? Am I supposed to just wander alone for eternity? Uh, cause like the cursed wanderers are forced to like wander or whatever. But the magicless cyborgs are rare, we only keep records of the first one who showed their existence, the main cause for your eradication. I don't understand why it says your eradication. The main cause for their eradication? You could maybe make that make sense.
Let's see. Hmm. So I guess I would then say, um, I don't mind being a magicless cyborg. I mainly want my curse lifted. The curse makes it hard for me to make friends. And I feel like I can never find a place where I truly feel comfortable. I have lived here all my life. But now this curse is making me want to leave, even though I know I shouldn't. Let's see. So let's see how the leader of the tech mages reacts. Hmm. And since I don't know magic, I can't even try to break my own curse. The leader of the tech mages considers what you have said, looking you up and down. He looks me up and down a lot. My boy's got wandering eyes. Hmm. He appears to be thinking very carefully about his next words. Well, get him out. I only got like 10 minutes. <laughs> my boy's doing a whole lot of thinking. Because I don't have any magic, so I don't really think I could break my own curse. I'm just a cyborg. This curse has been placed on you. It may be more than what we can do anything about, he says. Hmm. He is the leader of the tech mages. I would say, I don't have any magic, so I can't break my own curse. Do you know anyone? Who could break the curse for me? Yeah. Because that's what I would need. He's the leader of the tech mages. Surely he has something that could break the curse. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. So he's just straight up saying he just can't do anything. Hmm. Oh, okay. But you said there was nothing you could do. But that doesn't mean someone else couldn't do something. Could you help me find someone who could lift my curse? Yeah, like, that's fair. That's actually, like, a good retort. You ask. And then for the earlier thing, he replies. All right, cool. And then we're just going to hit enter. Like, help me find someone who can help me. That's what I want. I'm a pacifist, magicless cyborg with a curse. I wish we could, but as I said, magicless cyborg, magicless cyborgs are very rare. We don't even know of any left alive in this world. Hmm. You feel like the leader of the tech mages isn't really listening to you. You check to see if any of your cybernetic enhancements could potentially help you break the curse. Yeah. Because he keeps talking about how, like, magicless cyborgs are rare. It doesn't matter that my kind are rare, I just want to break a curse. You look down at your arms and legs. You think about all the robotic implants you have running through them. Okay? Hit enter. Because we gotta keep it riding. We only have like 10 minutes. I've mainly just been talking to the same guy who's just repeatedly been telling me that he like can't help me and he can't find anyone who can help me. You've had this curse for as long as you can remember, but only recently has it become a problem. You don't know what could have possibly triggered it. However, you often think back to the time when you first got your cybernetic implants. So that's interesting, the idea that I've like always had the curse but it's like it just now is triggering and it makes me like want to leave my home kind of thing so you can be like a cursed wanderer for life 
but not necessarily like be compelled by it. You remember the first time you saw your new robotic arms and legs? You were with your father, a soldier in the United States Army. Your father had brought you to a military base away from home, and he had called you inside a secret military building. So I'm getting like a full like origin story or whatever. I just want to know if I can like break my curse. Maybe this has the answer. No, ah, come on. We tried. We, we really did. Um, but anyways, what do you guys think of this adventure? Uh, sadly, I couldn't get as much done as I was hoping to. Um, but the leader of the tech mages really wasn't helpful. He really wasn't helpful at all. And I probably should have, like, very early on, just, like, dipped from him and tried to find, like, some other solution. Like, talk to the adventurers or any of the other numbers of people that were, like, in front of his area. Um, maybe I could have joined the adventurers that went to go talk to him. And maybe they could have taken me somewhere where I could have found, like, a curse breaker. Uh, what do you guys think? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and on our Discord. Thank you all for watching. If you guys have any video ideas, feel free to let me know on Discord. And if I like your idea, then I can make your idea a reality for a price. I charge $7 per hour. That's $7 for one hour video, $14 for a two hour video, or $21 for a three hour video, etc, etc. Also, if you guys just want to help support the channel, feel free to do so on our Cash App. Cash App link in the description box below. Uh, also, if you guys like AI Dungeon 2 videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do AI Dungeon 2 videos every day. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one only. Logging out. Peace, guys. Chicken about.